I look forward to what 2011 can bring. I have very, very high hopes for the year. I have a good feeling about the year. And I hope to be able to look back on this video on January 1st, 2012 and say that was the moment that things shifted. Watching that video from January 2nd of 2011, I knew without a shadow of a doubt when I was making that video that I was going to change my life in some way in this year. And I think now, having fulfilled that entire year, the things that I've done are incredible. And I think if you watch my video, my New Year's resolution video from last year, it's easy to see the change of who I am. I am not that person anymore and I'm not saying that that was a bad person because I loved who that person was and without that person I would not be here in this setting, in this mood, in this life. But I knew, I knew 2011 was going to be good for me and it was. It's been amazing. You guys know that I met somebody and I'm not going to say that you should meet somebody because that person defines you, but he has made me into such a better person and has completed the other half that I was wanting to be. I, I loved my video that one of my news resolutions was to be okay with being alone. And I felt like I really was. When I met David, I didn't meet David until about three and a half months into the year. I feel like at the moment that I did meet David, I was truly okay with being alone. I was truly okay with being alone and that was what brought him into my life. I had finally completed me, and I'm not saying I'm, I'm complete, obviously, um, but I'd completed enough of me that I feel like I was ready for that relationship. I was ready. I was ready. And it's been great. It's been good. And 2011 has brought so much change into my life. I've moved into this apartment. My roommate is married. She is gone. Gone in that sense. Um, and it's just been, it's been cool. Uh, one of my New Year's resolutions was to become a better TV producer. And I feel like I've really accomplished that. You know, in the past two weeks alone, I've gotten compliments from anchors on how my writing has been really solid. You know, that's one of the things I feel like I struggle with the most is my writing. And it's, it's really, it's been a, a true blessing. I wanted to reduce my debt by 50% and I did far more than 50%, which has been nice and incredible and financially free. You know, there was some stuff that I didn't do. I didn't journal as often as I wanted to. I didn't scrapbook nearly as much as I wanted to. Certainly did not read as many books, but I feel like the personal things, um, I had let go of the things you can't control, be a better version of yourself. I feel like I really, I really got that. And isn't that what's most important is like the personal goals that you set for yourself about the inside and not necessarily the outside stuff. So I'm happy with 2011. You know, I called it, I said that it was going to be a great year and I kept positive and Lord knows you guys saw my videos from 2010 and knew that I was in a really negative mood at the moment, but I stayed positive, I thought about it and I was able to accomplish it. And I guess I have that goal for all of you guys, like I want everybody to be happy. It's one of those things that when you're happy you wish that freedom on everybody else. And, and I definitely wish that for all of you. As far as my goals for this upcoming year, overall I think I want to continue working on me and who I am and the little faults and things that I have. I want to be able to fix them. And I want to continue to be with this channel. I feel like a lot of the strengths and things that I've overcome have been because of you girls. And I got to meet, you know, the majority of you guys this year and I'm hoping that this next year will bring forth the final bringing of all of us together excited about this year and I'm gonna I called it last year I said last year was gonna be great I'm gonna call it again this year and this year is gonna be great it's gonna be great for everyone and one of my favorite things from my video last year was I used a John Mayer song and it was called in repair and one of the lines says I am in repair I'm not together but I'm getting there and I'm not yet all together but I'm definitely getting there <laughs>